Let's look at this program. This is to get the addresses of a variable, and we can change a variable's value through its addresses, pointed to by a register. That's the purpose of this program. So the first line, um, before that, let's look at uh, in our lecture notes, I was telling you that you have two ways to do uh, the addresses. One is to use LEA, load effective address to get the address. One is to use offset to get the address. Okay, so let's look at these uh, code. Move CL comma 34H, this you understand. And the second uh, instruction is to um, get the address of var1 and place it into SI. If you remember, we uh, talked about you can only use four registers to store addresses, BX, SI, DI, BP. Those are the four registers. So I'm using one of them, SI, to store the address of var1. That is using this uh, instruction LE. The next one is to move, uh, this is the second way. Offset var2 will give you the address, and we want to put that address into BX. So that's move BX comma offset var2. And the fourth instruction is to move the content in CL, which is 34H, into the address contained in BX. Okay, and what does BX contain? It contains the address of var2. So basically, we are changing var2 to 45 uh, to 34H. Okay, let's run. Uh, one, one more thing I want to explain. That is, uh, don't be confused about the addresses. When you want to get the address of a variable, you always use the two-byte address, two-byte register, BX. You cannot use BL because that's not enough to uh, hold an address, okay? Here, we are putting a one-byte value into this address, so that's fine. Even though this is BX, this is BL, it's okay. Our variables are all contains one byte, but the address for that variable is still a two-byte address. That's why when you talk about address, you always use BX instead of BL or BH. Okay, let's assemble. And I will reload just to show you. Okay, so let's look at the first instruction. Move 34 into CL, that's easy. 34 is in CL there, right? Okay, the second instruction is to move 0000A, uh, which is the address for var1. If you look at this, this here, that's the address for var1. It contains 10, uh, 23. And 000B is the address for 45 for var2. Okay. Um, let me step back just to go back there. Okay. So let's do uh, that. And then we are moving A, H into SI. And look at SI. SI contains that address there, right? Okay, now we want to move 000B into BX and 000B into BX. So BX now contains the address of var2. SI contains the address of var1. The next step is to put 34 into the address contained in BX, which is 0B, which is the address for var2. So let's do that. And I'm going to just close, uh, open this so that you can see the change. Right now, var2 has 45, right? And we are moving 34 into 00B, the address contained in BX, and it will change to 34. Now you see it's changed to 34, and here it's also changed to 34. So that's um, how this works. Okay, I'm going to close this, and, and I think you understand it now. Um, okay, so 
Oh, one more thing here. I commented this out. I want to show you. Let's run this assemble. It will tell you um, there are errors. Wrong parameters move SI var2. Why is, that, why is this not OK? Because this is memory to memory moving. Remember, we can only our address format, our instruction format is memory to register, register to memory, or register to register. We cannot do memory to memory. And this var2, obviously, is a memory location, is a variable. This one, si, is a register. However, it is within the square brackets, which means we are looking at an address inside the register, right? So the register contains a memory address. That's why this is memory to memory, which we'll not do. Okay, that's it.